I just got the Ford Mustang Dark Horse 2024 LEGO set. This set is packed with detail and for ages 9 and up. And with 344 pieces, I think it's time to get building. But you're gonna get one manual with this set, and that manual is very thin. It's not very thick, so this is one of those builds that's not gonna take you all day. Overall, a very nice picture of the car on the manual there, so yeah, with that, let's open it up and see what's inside here. So as expected, package one is the first step. So many tiny pieces here, I can tell that this is going to be a tedious build. See, that's the thing with LEGO sport cars, that they may not have a lot of pieces, but they are very tedious builds, like a lot of different techniques in building here. It looks like we have a driver we have to build here. I love how LEGO is so kind as to still demonstrate how to build a character, that's very nice. So this minifig's pretty cool. She's got a pair of pants, a nice little hoodie, a head obviously and this hairpiece that I've yet to see in a LEGO set, and of course, a wrench. I definitely appreciate LEGO taking the time to print that text on the hoodie that like added a lot. It really looks great, but I'm still not sure how to feel about that hairpiece, guys. It just looks a little... Which actually reminds me. Here we have the Dark Horse Scales. And this is pretty simple. If it's good, it goes in the Goat Scale. If it's bad, it goes in the Sus Scale. And since I don't know what to think about that hairpiece, it's going in the Sus Scale. However, it wasn't all bad. I did like that hoodie. It was pretty cool, so... I'm gonna have to add some goat for that. Right now, we are working on the bottom of the car. Here in a little bit, this square is going to transform into the interior of this car. But that is nowhere as cool as this sticker we are putting on the passenger side that says, Mustang the Dark Horse. Seriously, a cool detail there. And I think it's so cool that it's going on the goat scale. It is pretty obvious that they dedicated package one to finishing the interior of the car. Great overall detail, keeping the same shapes of the seats and all that, but most of all, the stickers are helping make this plastic piece seem like the actual dark horse. A great first package that I think deserves to go on the goat scale. And now we are on to package two. Lots of tiny pieces it looks like we are in for another tedious chapter. Package 2 was leaning towards building the rear of the car, which meant mufflers. Pretty simple building technique that you just attach to the back of the car here, and it looks fantastic. Fantastic enough to give some goat, and the sus scale is really struggling. Alright, and now we've got the wheel wells on, which means we are progressing, and definitely a fair amount of detail on the back end of this car. I could never build this without an instruction manual, just impossible. And the taillights on this car, it's so clever, it looks just like the original. I mean, it's so easy, but yet so smart. Very clever, Lego. And now, with the back end complete, it's time for package three. Package three was for building the front end of the car. We're talking the grill, the headlights, everything. Definitely a lot of stickers went into the front end of this car to give it a lot of detail, but the biggest detail I love are those headlights. A very simple technique, but it looks great. So great that it can be goaded! But that was not the only thing to be goaded here. We finally come to the part of making the grill for this car. And it is so accurate that it is also going on the goaded scale! And the rest of package 3 was for finishing the hood, which has a multicolored technique to it that looks amazing! And around it is a lot of the same color, almost going for a two-tone, just like the original Dark Horse. But that is not as cool as the rims they add. They did add two different kinds of rims here. And I don't know about you, but I think the darker ones look much better. So that's what I'm going with. All you have to do with these is just pop them right into the wheel there. Do that four times and you'll get this. And then you are ready to pop one on each axle end. And after attaching these bottom pieces, it is now time to add our windshield and the roof. Fits right in there, definitely finishes off that Mustang vibe. And this car be done, my friends. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below, and let me know if you'll get your own. Consider subscribing, because we've got some cool stuff coming up. See you later.